Hi everyone, let's begin general equilibrium and partial equilibrium. How we can define term general equilibrium, how we can define term partial equilibrium. So general equilibrium refers to a situation when the demand and supply of every commodity is equal in the market, whereas the partial equilibrium takes into account a part of the market. Partial equilibrium means we are talking about individual firm, individual commodity. That means other things remaining constant and only we are looking towards only two variables. But general equilibrium means we are looking towards the aggregate, it means we are talking about entire market, whole market. And uh, general equilibrium, it is basically a macroeconomic in nature, but partial equilibrium that is micro in nature. So partial equilibrium means an equilibrium derived by considering the effect of only two variables at a time. All other variables are considered to be constant. But general equilibrium means the equilibrium which is derived by considering the effect of many variables at a time. That means it is aggregate in nature, means we are looking as a whole. Partial equilibrium it is just the technical term for commodity and supply analysis. Partial equilibrium models considered only one market at a time and ignoring potential interactions across markets. They, are do, they do not bother about the other markets, what is, what is the interactive effect is going on. They are focusing only towards the single market. So general equilibrium refers to a situation at the market where the demand and supply of every single commodity in the market are equals. In this situation, total clearance of the market can be achieved as there will be no excess or deficit stock of any commodity through general equilibrium because as a whole we are looking towards the market and we want to check demand and supply of every single commodity in the market is equal. Then we come to the, here is, we will talk about partial equilibrium. It is a partial equilibrium analysis studies the behavior of individual decision making unit and individual markets as independent unit in isolation. Uh, means when we are doing partial equilibrium, we want to check. So that means this is the, we are talking about individual market and as a independent unit rather than it is controlled. In isolation, we are looking for this rather than we are looking as the other factors also responsible. So means partial equilibrium means other things remaining constant. On the contrary, on the, on the contrary general equilibrium exists when all markets in an economy are in simultaneous equilibrium. But some limitations is also here when these, this theory is existing. Leon Walrus developed this theory based on multiple unrealistic assumptions. Like first assumption was that is there is perfect competition. It is a theoretical construct and does not exist in reality. General theory analysis is a static, that is static in nature. Uh, it is not dynamic in nature. The theory assumes that all producers and consumers manufacture and, con and consume identical products regularly without delay and their economic decisions are in complete harmony. That means there is no time lag. So moreover, consumer taste and preference remaining the same. And however, such things do not happen in reality. Consumers and producers do not think and act in the same way. And uh, these changes are required consumers' taste and preference keep on changing. So moreover, consumers' taste and habits are constantly changing. This is also one of the biggest limitations of this theory. According to George Joseph Stigler, the theory is a mistake as economic analysis, analy analysis have never been general. He believed that the more general the economic analysis, the less specific its content was. The theory has general equilibrium is static because of why we believe in this theory. I mean, that has been proposed. General equilibrium is static because of the following reasons. All producers and consumers regularly produce and consume identical goods without any timeline. This was the our biggest lacuna in this theory. And consumers' law goals, taste and habits remain constant and their economic decisions are in complete harmony that with that of producers. That is also one of the biggest uh, point that shows general equilibrium is static rather than dynamic. So I hope this video is clear to you. I mean, well, this one is the, both these theories, general equilibrium and partial equilibrium is clear to you. And 
we are uploading some more related videos on the welfare economics so i hope uh, keep watching and stay tuned thank you